everyone, this is me, Randy, and welcome back to a brand new video. It has been a while since I have last done a new reorganization video for my K-pop photo cards and extras collection, but I am back with a brand new video for you all today and a new video to add to the series. In today's video, I'm not going to be focusing on my music album photo cards and extras collection. I'm going to be focusing on the other merchandise items that I own, like items that are pre-order benefits, exclusive items, and other official merch as well. So about a year or so ago, I decided to add in the A5 binders into my collection, and I decided to add two of them. As the time has gone by, I've actually been liking these binders less and less. And so recently I decided to add and replace my two A5 binders, which are here. And these are the original ones that I was using, which are actually originally are supposed to be used for journaling, but I decided to use them for photo card collection purposes. And here they both are. So I decided to switch out those A5 binders and add in two Avery 8x5 binders. So both of these binders are an inch and both of these binders are the standard Avery binder, but just smaller. And I've came to a realization that the binders that I was originally using I just were not a big fan of. In my opinion, they are really nice aesthetically, but for actual collecting, I realized that the binders were just a little bit too flimsy in my opinion. So I decided to get these two binders here and I must say, I love them. Um, they have the same durability as the regular size Avery binders. So I really am apt to be adding these two binders in my collection. And with that, I had to actually add in some new pages for my binders. For example, the four pocket pages that I was using, unfortunately did not fit in these type of binders. So I actually had some BCW nine pocket pages that I was using for other items like business cards from artists and small businesses, as well as my K-pop freebies collection. And I realized that these pages fit in the Avery binders perfectly. So I decided to take all the binder um, nine pocket pages that I had and then just cut them up into four. And I decided to use my old binders for the business cards and freebies that I have. And this is one of the two binders that I have, like I shared with you all earlier. And then I forgot that the BCW nine pocket pages do not fit the Ultra Pro card sleeves. So I had to buy <laughs> some more card sleeves for my collection. So one good thing is that the Dragon Shield Perfect Fit sleeves that are already used for my photo cards do fit. But when it comes to my non-album photo cards collection, I had to find an inner sleeve to use because I do double sleeve my cards. And these are the inner sleeve cards that I use. Here's the brand, and here's the back, and here is the name that they go under on Amazon. So yes, I love these sleeves. They are quite a bit thin, but for what I need them for, they are great. So let me give you all an example. Here's Jayong here. So this is the Dragon Shield Perfect Fit Sleeve. And these are the new sleeves that I just shared with you all. So as you can see, they are a bit smaller than the Dragon Shield, but they fit perfectly. So, yes. And also, my non-album photo cards are now in clear sleeves and that you can actually see the back, which is pretty cool. And also, 
Another thing about the Avery mini binders is that I had to get new one pocket sleeves because the one pocket pages or sleeves as I should say that I was using by Mochi Things did not fit. So I had to get the Avery brand A by five one pocket pages or sheet protectors as they are known. And I love these pages so much. They are fantastic. So yes, that is all of the new items that I've added to the collection to use for these two mini binders here. And I do wanna mention that all the items, both new and old, will be linked in the description box down below. So if you have any questions on any of the items that I'm currently using now or were previously using, just check out the description box. Also, timestamps will be provided in the description box down below because I know that this intro is quite a bit longer than my normal intros from my past reorganization videos. But since I had a lot to explain in this video, it is a bit longer than usual. So yes, we have a lot, a lot of items to place away. And not only do I have the items that I already have in my collection, but I got a lot of new items to place away as well. So yes, this is going to be a very, very fun video for me because a lot of these items I have been reorganizing and such for about a week. And yes, it's just been a very, very busy, but also very fun reorganization process for me. So once again, links to the items that I use as well as timestamps will be down below in the description box. And also if you have any questions, feel free to comment. And I hope that you all enjoy the rest of the video. And also before I forget, I do wanna mention that the white binder will be used for pre-order benefits and for exclusives. And this binder here will be used for other merchandise. So yes, I think that is all that I wanted to say for the intro. And if I remember correctly, that is it. I think I covered everything. So yes, I hope that you all enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, let's get started.
Thank you.